This five-page policy could be the key to helping immigrants who are victims of crimes come forward. We must serve all our community. Right? I ran on a platform that says that the community of we, and we means everyone. The Buncombe County Sheriff's Office will now offer two visa certifications for immigrant victims. The first, a U non immigrant status dubbed the U visa. It provides an immigration benefit for victims of certain crimes who assist law enforcement. And the second, T non immigrant status known as the T visa for victims of trafficking, allowing for victims to remain and work in the country for up to four years if granted. This sort of encourages or helps them to come forward and to feel safe reporting because we know when all members of the community are safe, the community is safer. The certification through the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office are only available for victims who cooperate with investigators. Well, I'm not going to get into some of the politics tonight, but I will simply tell you that we're all people. We all deserve uh, law enforcement to be there. Two crime victims shared their stories. Kayla Estrada is a beneficiary of the U visa. It might be because of fear or lack of access to the language that, does, that doesn't allow the victims to find help or search for help. And Francisco Ramirez applied for the U visa after he was robbed at gunpoint. I felt insecure. I didn't feel safe. Talia Hoy with Pisgah Legal says a majority of the time, language barriers, fear of authorities, or confusion on the difference between law enforcement and immigration prevents victims from asking for help. Immigrant victims stay quiet, and so this is just one of the tools that law enforcement has to help them feel more comfortable coming forward and validating the crime that they've been, the victimization that they've gone through.